What's up everyone? My name is Cody Engel and in this video we are going to talk about the map operator on the Kotlin Collections library. If you're just coming into this video, uh, you haven't seen others in the series yet, I would strongly recommend going back and checking it out. Uh, we have this library object with a book, author, genre, all sorts of stuff that you don't want to code by hand. So I kind of walk you through that in the intro video and show you how you can get the code for that. Anyway though, let's go ahead, let's get started. So from our collections package, we will create a new Kotlin file called map. Minimize that and we'll get rid of the iterators and then we will create a main function for this, I'm going to work through um, just a couple of smaller problem sets. So let's say from our library where we have some books, we have um, a number of different books. Let's say that we want to show all of the authors that are part of our library. So we want to print all authors. So we can do that, so we just say val just authors equals library dot books. And then from there we map it to say it dot authors. And from there we can do print line authors. And then print line again, where we will then print out just authors, and this will be our starting place. We run this, you'll notice that we print out the authors, but we're printing them in not an ideal way. But I think it's still important to kind of talk through what is actually happening here. And so we'll expand this map function, and you'll notice that IntelliJ is telling us, it's giving us a hint that it is equal to book. So we'll just call it book just to give it that, that named parameter, make it a little bit easier to follow along. And what map is doing is when you call the map function, and if you look at it actually, just to kind of talk through it a little bit more, map defines the function as having two generics. So T and R, you, the, the letters aren't important, just them being different, T and R. If it was T and T, it would be mapping one one value to the exact same value so there wouldn't be a lot of value value with that i'm saying value way too much sorry about that but so the iterable though it takes something which is assigned to t and it runs it through a transform function and so it takes t and it returns r so it takes a list of one value type and returns a list of another value type and this transform function, this is sort of fill in the blank. This is what we're doing. So in our case, we are taking the book and we're mapping it to authors. So we're just taking the book itself and we're returning what the authors are. Now, this is okay, but we, we want to print these out in a little bit of a nicer way. So we can do another map function. And so now at this point, we know that we will have a list of authors. Actually, let me just make this a little bit clearer. So we'll give that the book type and then we'll do list of author. Just because when you're going through, it's not always clear what we're working with. So I'm hoping that this helps out. If it does, let me know in the comments uh, and I'll do it for future tutorials. But now we have our authors, and with that, we can take the list, and let's say we want to join them to a string. So this, we're not going to go over the implementation details on this. Join to string is just a function which lets you join a list to a single string of values. And if we go and run it, we can see what it looks like now. So you won't notice anything too drastic changing, but essentially what we're doing is we're now joining these to just a, a single string. 
in itself. It changes things just a little bit, but not quite enough to see really what's going on. So we're going to add one more join to string, but this time we're going to just tell it what, the, what separator we want. Oops, if I can spell separator correctly. And we're going to give it a new line character. So what this is going to do now, so we're mapping this, we're getting the list of authors, and then the list of auth authors, we are joining to a string, and the default join to string option is going to be a comma like that. And you can view that just by going to the function itself and seeing separator is a char sequence. If you don't provide it, it will default to that comma. And so that's why we're not providing it, just because if we don't, we're going to get that anyway, and that's typically your desired behavior when you're joining to a string. With this, though, we don't, we're not going to map this. We're not going to change the value of the string at all, but we do want to take this list of items that we're getting back. That's now a list of strings, and you can see that just by looking at the hint here by doing an empty map. And so each string, we just want to give it its own new line character. So let's go ahead, we'll rerun this now, and you'll notice, so some have commas, others do not. And so for this one, for example, our first book in our library is Zero to One by Peter Thiel and Blake Masters. Okay, so that's fine. You know, but maybe maybe we want to do something else. So let's do a slightly more advanced mapping. And let's say we want to show the book with the authors. So print book title plus authors. And so we can do that by doing, so we'll do val title and authors equals library dot books and then we'll do our map function which will have a book and a book and for this we'll do val authors equals book dot authors join to string and we're going to do the same thing so we're just going to join it to the string with this transformation taking the name of it so we'll take the name of the author it'll be separate if there's multiple authors it'll be separated by a comma and then our map, so what we're going to return is going to be the book.title by our authors. And then we'll do another join to string. This time we're going to provide just a separator, not a transformation or anything. And this will again let us print out the values on a new line. Okay, so we can now do our print line We'll do our title text, so title and authors. And from there we can do print line with title and authors. We can run the code. And now you will see we have the book title, so 0 to 1, and then by Peter Thiel, Blake Masters similar so if it's just one author why we sleep unlocking the power of sleep and dreams by matthew walker so that shows a little bit more of an, a you know uh not necessarily a more advanced way but we're we're mapping multiple items of the book into a string you can also map this into different object representations you're not just limited to strings but for this video it's a little bit easier to work with with strings then creating a new object type just for the the sake of doing that and so that's working with the map operator but similar to our iterators video where we talked about indexes map actually has an index as well so let's say we want to print out the book title plus location slash id you know maybe these these indexes are the the primary key if you will if you're familiar with databases and so we can do that so we'll do print line and then 
books with index. And so we'll do val books with index equals library dot books. And then instead of doing map, there is a map indexed function. So we have index book. And for that, we can just print out the index dash and then book dot title. And then we'll just do our print line and it will be books with index. And then we'll do our join to string here just to show, you know, you can do it wherever you want, really. Um, you can do it within a print line even. And we'll do a new new line for that. And if we run this, we should see now the books print out with their index. So we're not doing like the iterators video where we add one. We're just going to give them the index that they're at. So 0, 1, 2, etc., etc. All right. But that is it for this video on mapping. Just a real quick summary. You would use the map operator whenever you want to transform one value to some other value type. Map is easily one of the most used operators that I use myself. That's why I wanted to start off this video series uh, getting into it with the map operator because we will use it in future videos to set things up in a way where we can then work with the other operators. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do that. And otherwise, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.